Hi, I'm Dr. David Whiting. Thank you for visiting us today. I chose to partner with Jaffe Medicine for many reasons. With no emphasis on quotas and quarterly shareholder reports, there's a genuine approach to providing you the best value and the best quality of care in the marketplace. I am honored to work with Dr. Stephen Jaffe again as the name Jaffe is renowned in the field of LASIK eye surgery and for developments in medical lasers for over 30 years. How do I know if laser vision correction is right for me? The extensive testing you are receiving today, the multiple prescription checks by your technician and doctor, orb scan and wave print mappings, corneal thickness measurements, pupil measurements, and dilated health exam will provide us the medical information we need to confidently recommend laser vision correction for you. But the medical testing is not the only factor. Just as important is the discussion we will have with you regarding your expectations and reasons for considering laser vision correction. Since no two eyes or clients are the same, your unique treatment plan will be designed according to your specific needs. What does LASIK mean? LASIK is a procedure that shapes the cornea from within using a laser. In order for the eye to focus light clearly on the retina, the cornea must be of the proper curvature. If it's not, nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism is present. What is nearsightedness? When the cornea has too steep a curve, or the eye is too long in relation to its corneal curvature, images focus in front of the retina instead of on it. That's nearsightedness, and the result is that you can see objects up close, but the distance vision is blurry. What is farsightedness? Farsightedness occurs when the cornea is too flat, or the eye is too short. This causes images to focus at a point beyond the retina. If you're farsighted, you have difficulty seeing objects both up close and at a distance. What is astigmatism? If the cornea is shaped like a football, more curved along one direction compared to the other, then images bend in such a way as to create no single point of focus. That's called regular astigmatism, and it results in a blurry and often distorted vision. What happens during the LASIK procedure? First, an instrument is used to fashion a thin protective flap from the outer corneal layers, which is painlessly lifted. The cool pulses of ultraviolet light from the laser are then computer-guided to precisely and smoothly sculpt the cornea's inner surface. You'll hear a steady clicking sound as the laser is operating. You're also likely to notice a mildly acrid smell. I have full control of the laser and can turn it off at any time. After the laser, which typically takes from 10 to 60 seconds, the corneal flap is repositioned and itself adheres. Because of this bonding quality, no stitches are needed. When the cornea is reshaped, it focuses light directly on the retina to provide clearer vision than before. If treating nearsightedness, the laser removes tissue from the center of the cornea, making it flatter and reducing the focusing power. This moves the point of focus from in front of the retina back to the retina. If treating farsightedness, the cornea is made steeper as the laser removes tissue from the periphery of the cornea. This helps the cornea bend light more and moves the point of focus from somewhere behind the retina back to the retina. If treating regular astigmatism, the laser removes tissue from the flatter meridian, thereby making the cornea more spherical around. This allows light images to come to one point of focus on the retina. What is the difference between LASIK and PRK? PRK is a form of laser vision correction called photorefractive keratectomy. Unlike LASIK, PRK doesn't create a corneal flap. Instead, the top epithelial surface of the cornea is removed and the laser precisely reshapes the curvature of the eye, just as in LASIK. PRK is typically recommended for patients who have thinner than average corneas or shape variations that make it safer to not cut a corneal flap. What is Custom Wavefront Guided LASIK? Custom Wavefront Guided LASIK uses light waves to measure subtle irregularities in each eye called higher order aberrations that may cause distortion in your vision. These measurements are then translated by computer to accurately guide the laser to reshape your cornea for refined visual clarity, enhanced acuity, and less glare at night. Your Jaffe MediCenter doctor will determine whether your individual vision characteristics makes you a candidate for custom wavefront guided LASIK. Will the procedure hurt? The LASIK procedure itself is not painful. Our clients may experience some discomfort for a few hours after the procedure. It may feel like your contact lenses have been in too long. The day of your treatment, you will arrive approximately an hour prior and will have the option of taking a mild sedative to help you relax. Eye drops will be used to numb your eyes, so there's never a need for any injections. The procedure from start to finish takes only minutes. In fact, most clients are able to go back to work the very next day after their treatment. What will my vision be like immediately after my procedure? 
Although your vision will be foggy, you will be amazed when just moments after the procedure you will be able to see a clock on the wall across the room for the very first time in years. It is really exciting and your eyes will continue to improve as they adjust to their new shape. What happens after treatment? After your treatment, we recommend that you go home and take a nap. When you wake up, you might experience some irritation or dry eyes. The eye drops will help alleviate the discomfort as you continue to use them over the next few days. Follow-up exams will be performed to monitor your progress. How good will my vision be? The goal of the laser vision correction procedure is to give you the kind of vision you had with glasses or contacts. The treatment does not always give you perfect vision and we can't guarantee results. In some clients, an enhancement procedure is needed to fine-tune the results. This is required a small percentage of the time, especially in clients with a higher or more complex correction, and is a normal part of the treatment. An enhancement can be performed once a client's vision has stabilized. What is presbyopia? When we are born, the lens inside our eye has the ability to change shape and is that flexibility that allows the eye to shift focus from a distant object to something up close. As we age, usually in our early 40s, the lens inside our eye begins to lose its flexibility. This condition that affects us all is called presbyopia. Will I need reading glasses? Corrective lens wearers will have to either change to bifocal glasses or continue to wear contacts and wear readers as they age. The laser procedure cannot treat presbyopia. So if you're over 40 and having a laser vision procedure for nearsightedness, you may still need to wear reading glasses to see things within arm's reach. Ask your doctor if monovision, which is the correction of one eye to see clear at close range, might be right for you. What are the risks? It is important to remember that laser vision correction is a medical procedure. Because there are different types of treatments, the healing process and level of discomfort varies from person to person. If you have any questions, we encourage you to ask. You should also be aware of some problems that are rare. Abrasion. In some instances, some of the surface cells of the flap may become irritated or come off during creation of the flap. These abrasions heal very quickly. Some abrasions may require the use of a bandage contact lens to promote quick healing. Flap complication. Rarely the flap is too small or incomplete, not allowing us to complete the treatment. After some healing time, we can reschedule the treatment. Dry eyes. Your eyes will probably feel a little dry for a while after the procedure. Some people might not have dry eyes at all, while others might have dry eyes for several months afterwards. It is important to apply the topical artificial tears several times a day. Everybody's different, but this dry feeling will improve. Glare and halos. Virtually every patient will experience some glare or halos, at least on a temporary basis for one to three months due to the natural swelling of the cornea following the LASIK procedure. Other factors, such as the degree of your prescription, aberrations of the cornea, the size of your pupils, and dry eye may contribute as well. To reduce the likelihood of glare or halos, we use multiple laser technologies that will be custom matched to your eyes. Infection. Infections as a result of this procedure are extremely rare. Actually, there's a greater rate of infection associated with wearing contact lenses than with LASIK. It is important to adhere to the follow-up care we will discuss with you and to attend your post-operative exams. Ectasia. A fraction of a percentage of clients may develop instability of the shape of the cornea in a way that the correction changes years after the procedure is performed. If you are in the small group of clients that develop this, we can't retreat with laser vision correction and would be back to contacts, glasses, or other means to correct the vision. Experience. Jaffe MediCenter has multiple laser technologies to customize your treatment. It is also important to remember that the skill and experience of your eye surgeon likely will be the most important factor affecting the outcome of your LASIK procedure. I look forward to meeting you and to helping your vision become a reality. Joffe Meta Center. Imagine you.